Hey everyone, it's Amanda. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we're gonna be trying out some new products. This is not a full face of first impressions, but we do have quite a bit of stuff that we are gonna do first impressions with. So if you wanna go ahead and see what I have and what this look is gonna turn out to be, then just keep on watching. All right guys, so I have recently gotten quite a bit of uh, newer stuff, maybe not new as in uh, released new, but just new to me. So I thought it'd be cool to sit down and do a first impressions of these products, starting off with primer. So this part I have had for a while, it's the Peach and Lily Glass Skin Refining Serum. I love this, I use this all the time. So this one is not a first impression, but I like to put this underneath my primer. And the primer we're gonna be trying out today is gonna to be the Hard Candy. This is the hydrating primer. It's supposed to have a 12 hour makeup grip, plumps, moisturizes, and perfects. It's a hydrating primer. This has one fluid ounce in here. Um, it has hyaluronic acid and agave to help moisturize and grip makeup, helps to plump skin and to diminish the appearance of fine lines. Um, and I saw a lot of people, especially on TikTok, um, say that this is supposed to be like the uh, Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. That is my favorite primer. I love it. That mixed with this makes my perfect primer, helps my makeup look absolutely beautiful. So we are gonna be testing this out today. So first I'm gonna go ahead and apply my serum. And now that my serum is applied, as you can see, it gives me like a nice like hydrated looking glow. So diving into the primer, it is sealed, which is nice. And it is pretty green. So the other one is green too, but I feel like this is darker than that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this and put it on my face. It almost so smells kind of similar too. Wow, it's already tacky. and can feel a similarity with this, which is amazing because that's a big old price difference. Yeah, it's already pretty tacky. That's nice. The next thing that we are gonna be trying out is the Benefit Boing. This is the Industrial Strength Concealer. It's a pot concealer. This is in the shade number two. Um, it looks pretty dark, so. I feel like maybe number one would have been better, but I found this at uh, TJ Maxx and I really wanted to try it out because I love pot concealers to cover up like my acne and acne scarring. I used to never have acne. I did not have acne growing up until I became an adult and just got more into makeup and my skin just, a lot of it's hormonal too, as you can see in the areas that it is. But so what I like to do is take this with a flat brush and go ahead and apply over my um, acne, so let's see how dark this is. Oh, that is pretty dark. I don't feel like it's covering up Too much and it is definitely a little too dark maybe when I'm more um, when I do myself tan maybe this will work out a little bit better but I don't feel like it's covering up I mean maybe a little bit but I feel like my other one that I use all the time covers up so much more than this does Okay, so as you can see, it's all, it's pretty dark. It's uh, not my color, but we're still trying it out. Um, I mean, there is some coverage, but not major coverage. But at least it kind of, it covered it to the best of its ability. I'll say that. So I don't have a new foundation. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and apply my foundation. But first I did want to share a face uh tool, I guess you can say. These are the Morphe Lisa Frank uh, Treat Me Sweet Beauty Sponge Set. 
don't know what's with my words today. Maybe I'm just tired from work, but yeah. So these are sponges. You get two big ones, three small ones. Uh, I'm not going to use this today just because I already have a Morphe sponge that I'm currently using. I just wanted to show you guys that I did get these. I love Morphe sponges. I think they work amazing. Um, I have never bought a beauty blender. I won't buy a beauty blender because I'm not paying $20 for a sponge. I'm just not doing it. As much as it might be amazing, I'm not spending $20 on a sponge. So I did go ahead and pick up this pack so that way I have some backup sponges for when I need them. But I'm going to go ahead and apply that foundation and I'll be right back. All right, so this is with my foundation on. And as you can see, I mean, the coverage on here is fantastic. I feel like the concealer actually did a pretty good job um, underneath and you don't see like the darkness of the concealer coming through. So I might actually like this instead to be completely honest with you. I think my skin looks really flawless and nice. It looks very hydrated even though this is a matte prime or a matte foundation. I feel like my skin looks very hydrated and healthy. Um, and I just think everything looks really nice so far and I'm hoping that this uh, new primer works so well underneath it all and keeps it uh, and keeps everything in place like it needs to be. Now I do have a new concealer to try out. It's not really new, but it's new to me. This is the Milani Conceal and Perfect uh, Concealer. This is in the shade Pure Ivory. I don't know if this is gonna be too light for me, um, but we are gonna give this a go. I've never used any, I really haven't used any of Milani products except for like I've tried their foundation before um so I'm, I've never really gotten into the Milani brand not like their eyeshadows or anything so I'm hoping that I will like this concealer it's just got like a flat applicator and I like to put my concealer right here in the inner corner and right here on the outside this is to give my eye a lifted effect and then I'll go ahead and highlight the high points of my face. So my forehead, my nose, and my cupid's bow, and just a little bit around the lips here. It seems very easy to blend. that is very bright. It is pretty light. I wouldn't say it's like extreme coverage. I think I'm getting more like medium. That's what I feel like. Yeah, as you can see, like I feel like I made my face so much lighter now than this side looks. Alright, so this is with the concealer. It definitely looks pretty light, so I don't know if I really like that color. I definitely like to have a lighter concealer to brighten everything, but I don't know if I like how light it is. Um, I think my under eyes look really nice. Um, I think everything blended out pretty well, and so far it looks fine. Like, it doesn't look bad. Maybe the color is just a little bit too light. But I'm going to go ahead and powder my face because I don't have a new powder to try. So I'm going to go ahead and do that so we can jump into the next products. All right, guys. So now that I have my face powdered, let's jump into some more products. So the next thing I have is these Morphe brushes. This is from the Lisa Frank collection. So I do want to use some of these brushes. I think there's mainly eye brushes and one face brush. This bag is so cute and so nostalgic. I love it. I grew up with Lisa Frank, so I'm so excited that she came out with this collection. Um, I think they did a great job with packaging. Absolutely adorable. All right, so when we open it up, we do get a lot of random excess paper that's actually really pretty. And these five gorgeous brushes, absolutely beautiful. I love cheetah print. So going through, it actually looks like we get a blush brush in here, which is really pretty. I mean, or you could use it for like angled like contour, but I will use this for blush. And then we do get a highlighter brush and then we get four uh, eye brushes, which I will use today. But jumping in for face. 
So the face palette that I have to try out is this Iconic London Face Palette. This actually came in a BoxyCharm for this month, actually. And this is what these six shades look like. We get two highlighters, uh, two bronzers, and two blushes. Now, I don't use uh, metallic blushes or bronzers all that often, so I will probably be steering clear of those, but we will definitely be using the blush and the highlighters. So I just wanna swatch these really quick and see what they look like. They do feel very, uh, they don't feel buttery, they feel kind of chalky. So this is the two highlighters, bronzer and the blush. I'm honestly not impressed with how they felt, um, but I guess let's see how it applies on the face. So the first thing we're gonna jump into is of course the bronzer, which is going to be this one right here. And I'm just taking this billion dollar brows, uh, billion dollar brushes brush to go in with the bronzer. It definitely looks a lot more warmer on the face than it does do in the pan. The swatch did come out a little warm as well. It's going on nice, it's not patchy. I don't think the bronzer looks bad at all. I think it looks pretty good. Again, not patchy. Um, it's a nice color. So, so far I actually pretty do like it. I mean, I didn't really care for how they felt or the swatches, but it actually turned out pretty nice. And then now I'm gonna take the Morphe brush. By the way, these feel so soft. Like, it, I love Morphe brushes. They're just so soft and so nice. So I'm gonna take this brush and go into this blush right here and we are going to apply that. I do like the color of this blush. I do like how soft it is. Normally I go for like um, more peachier, corally tones, but sometimes those can come off pretty orange. So I do like how light this one is. I always like to put a little blush on the nose there. Now for highlighter, I think I'm gonna go in with this highlighter right here. The other one just looks a little bit too golden-y for me, so I'm picking it up on this uh, Morphe highlighting brush from the collection, and we're gonna pop this on. It's pretty, it doesn't look chalky. It's not blinding, it's pretty uh, low key, unless I turn my, my head like that, but it is pretty. I do have other highlighters that I like more than this. But it's pretty nice. So overall for this palette, I do have other palettes that I like more than this. I think it performed pretty well. I like the bronzer and the blush and the highlight even turned out pretty nice as well. But I do have other palettes that I like better than this. Um, so is it a favorite that I'm gonna gravitate towards all the time? Probably not. Um, it's a nice palette. Would I pay the price that it was? Probably not, um, but I don't think it was bad either. All right, so I don't have any new brow products, but I'm gonna go ahead and pop on my brows, and then I do have a new eyeshadow primer to try out, so I will be right back. All right, so now that the brows are on, we are gonna go try out a new primer now. This is the Jessie's Girl Eyeshadow Primer. Um, my sister actually gave this to me. She's never used it. It was a package when I got it, um, but I don't remember where she got this from, um, so I'll have to ask her, but it does come with a um doe foot applicator so we're gonna try out a new primer which i hope it works out i mean that would be really great if it did but i am a ride or die for my p louise eye base so we will see how this goes 
So let's go ahead and apply this. Okay, so it is not as full coverage as the P. Louise is, which is why I like it because I also use it to help, you know, cut my brows a little bit more if I don't like um, exactly how they look because I hate my brows. Um, but it did kind of cancel out a little bit. Um, it does feel very tacky and sticky, so I'm hoping it'll lock those shadows on and it won't make them look all patchy and everything. So now it's time to dive into an eyeshadow palette. And I was using some uh, Morphe Lisa Frank products. So we have to try out the Morphe Lisa Frank palette. I am so excited about this. I did pick the Tiger because it was so cute. The other ones were cute too, but the Tiger just felt more nostalgic to me than anything else. Now there were a lot of uh, people saying that this palette was the 35B palette which it does say that here. I've never had the 35B palette, so I don't know anything about the palette or how it performed. Um, this is what the inside of the palette looks like. We do get this beautiful heart mirror and all of these gorgeous shades. Now they are really, really pretty. I did think when I thought of like Lisa Frank, I thought more vibrant for the shades, um, but overall I don't think it is terrible. I'm excited to dive into this and create a beautiful look. I'm not going to swatch everything um, but we are going to go ahead and dive in. So I haven't really played around with a lot of like blues and greens lately so I think that's what I want to go and do um, but first I want to get a transition shade in there before I go into the blues so I think I'm going to go in with Playtime Kittens which is this shade up here and we are going to use this brush to do that. So I'm just gonna pick it up on my brush and we're gonna apply this right in the crease. All right, so now I'm gonna take a smaller fluffy brush and I'm gonna go in with Angel Kitty, which is this blue shade right here. And we're gonna be putting that all in the crease as well. I do see some patchiness starting to happen and I am assuming it is that primer because Morphe's shadows are pretty good. I mean it could very well be their shadows but I think it's the primer. Next I'm going to take this flat, or not flat, but it's a smaller um, brush, more precise brush and I'm actually going to go in with Forest which is this shade here and pop this on my outer corner. Yeah, I do have a lot of patchiness going on, and I think this is due to that primer. Now 
those two shades are really pretty together, but I do still see some patchiness in like this area here. Um, I'm, I'm really thinking it's this primer. So don't know how much of a fan I am of that. But I'm gonna go back into the forest shade and just take a flat brush. This is not obviously in the collection of Lisa Frank, but there's only so many brushes. And I'm gonna go ahead and put this on my bottom line. All right, and the one thing that I don't really like about this palette is that there's not really a whole lot of like metallic shades. And so I have no idea what shade I wanna put on my lid. I guess I could go in with the blue and then put this one in my inner corner. Let's do that. All right, so I'm gonna take this flat brush and we're gonna go in with the blue shade, which is called Spotty and Dotty, and see how well this goes on without wetting it. We need to wet the brush. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray it. Hope you've enjoyed your Thursday. Mm, I wetted it and I still don't like it, so I'm gonna take my finger. All right, so this is the eyeshadow look using the 35B palette, the Lisa Frank collection. I think it looks really pretty. Um, I do think there was some patchiness uh, with that eyeshadow primer, so I don't really like that. Um, but overall, I think it still turned out really pretty. I'm gonna go ahead and pop on liner and lashes and I'll be right back. All right, guys, so this is the final eyeshadow look with the liner and lashes on. I feel like this really amped it up and made it look really pretty. Now, what I'm wearing on my lips, I should have filmed it, and I didn't think about it, because I was like, oh, I don't have any new lip products. I put this on, and I realized, well, yes, I do. What I just put on was new. This is the uh, Flower Beauty in the shade Set Me Freesia. I don't believe this is new, but it's obviously new to me, and it's just this really beautiful nude shade. Um, it did come out pretty light on me, but I think it looks pretty good. I like it. It's very moisturizing. I don't think this is like a matte. I think it's just more of like a cream, but it does feel really nice, hydrating and soft on the lips. So I really like that. And I think it kind of helps focus everything on the eye look. The last thing we have to try is a setting spray. And this is the NYX Bear With Me Cannabis Sativa Seed Oil Revitalize and Set Multitasking Spray. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray. There's not really a scent with it, which is really nice. Um, a lot of people don't like fragrance, so I don't think it's anything strong. Um, but I hope that this, you know, does some wonders for makeup. Um, I think the mister was pretty nice. Pretty uh, self-explanatory mister, not too bad. Not as fine as some of the other ones that I've had, but it is pretty nice. Overall, so my final thoughts of the run through of everything, I love the Morphe Lisa Frank brushes, super soft. I like the palette as well. Um, I wish it was a little bit more vibrant, but it's still a really pretty palette. Um, I do like the lipstick and I mean, I don't know how I feel about this. If it's just gonna be a plain old, you know, just nothing special spray or if it's gonna do something nice, so we will see. Um, but I do think the smell was nice and the mister was great on that. 
the concealer, um, it didn't do anything crazy to my skin, so I don't think it was bad. I think it was a little too light for me, but I don't think it was, you know, bad at all. The pot concealer was pretty good, actually. Yes, it was a little too dark for my skin, but when my foundation went over it, it covered it. It gave that extra coverage in those spots I need, so that wasn't bad at all, and I pretty, I really did like that. The face palette. I don't really care for it. I think it's just a plain Jane face palette, and I'm not that wowed by it so that it is what it is the primer um it's just not my cup of tea i really like my p louise so i think that's where i'm gonna stick with it um i think that it did make some patchiness everything kind of came together with the eyeshadow but i did feel like some patchiness with it as go as i was going along uh, so i think i'll pass on that as well overall though this is how the final look turned out what do you guys think let me know down below if you guys like this video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you were new here remember once i hit 500 subscribers i know it's taken us a while but once i get there there is going to be a big giveaway so you definitely want to be a part of that anyway though i hope you guys have a fantastic day and i will see you all in the next one bye